A while ago, I made a video about the screen capture protection feature of Azure Virtual Desktop, which is still kind of neat because it allows you as an admin to block screen captures from happening. But as I noted in that video, it does have some limitations. Among other things, it's quite easy to actually work around the screen capture protection and still capture what's happening within the session. But yesterday, Microsoft announced a new feature in public preview called Watermark that addresses this exact thing. And the feature does pretty much exactly what the name implies. It adds a watermark to your session. I'll show you how this works and how to set it up a bit later on in the video. I have a demo environment brewing back here. But first, I just want to quickly cover the limitations and what you need in order to use this watermark feature and, of course, what it actually does. Like I said, it does add a watermark to your session. And that watermark is a QR code containing your connection ID. That means that an admin can go back and find the connection that the screen capture originates from, matching it with a user, and thereby you can trace back where any leak came from. Being in public preview, of course, it does still have its limitations. For example, it's only supported on the Windows desktop client, not on the Mac OS client, and not on the web client, which means that if you try to connect from one of these unsupported clients, you will see a generic connection failed error message. But once you are on a supported client and you're into your session, you will see that the QR code is all over your screen at all times, which can get a bit annoying if you're a user. So I would say use this only where it's absolutely necessary because it does bother the user quite a lot. And this new watermark feature, it only works on published desktops and not on published apps. So that's also another limitation as opposed to the screen capture protection. But I think that's enough talking for now. So uh, let's just jump over to the demo environment, shall we? To enable the watermarking feature, you need to configure this on every session host, but you can do so with Intune, Group Policy, and so on. In my case, I will be using the local Group Policy on my session host, and I'll start over here on the documentation for the feature. If we scroll on down here, we see that we need to download the administrative template for Azure Virtual Desktop. So I'll click this link and we will download the file from here. Once we have that file, we can jump over to our remote desktop client and log on to our session host. And I would need to log on with a local administrator account. So I'll do that. Once here, we can copy in our file, we can open it up and extract this zip file from it. Uh, documents, that's a beautiful place to put it and go to documents and then we need to extract the contents of the zip file again documents is a pretty awesome place to have it and now uh, we have a bunch of files here but the ones we are interested in is the admx file which contains the settings and the language file for our language and in this case there will be the nus for me which contains the adml file so these two files need to be copied in my case over to my windows installation which is on my C drive and we'll find policy definitions somewhere here. And within this folder, I will be putting the ADMX file. So I'll copy that over. And then from the NUS folder, uh, I will copy the ADML file. Copy this into the NUS folder here. Paste it in. Now, we can, from the start menu, open the group policy, click on edit group policy. Then we just make this a tad larger. And under computer configuration, we go to administer templates, windows components, scroll on down to remote desktop services. We'll find the remote desktop session host. We'll find the Azure virtual desktop. And within here, we have the setting enable watermarking. So we'll open up that and we'll click enabled and all the other settings here I will leave as default. The one you might be interested in the most is the opacity. This basically means how visible the QR code will be. For now, we'll go with 2000. Click OK. And now we just do a quick little reboot of our session host. And while that is rebooting, we'll go and enable the Azure Virtual Desktop Insights for our setup. So we'll go to the Azure portal and down to Insights here. So as you can see, I haven't enabled insights yet, but this is something that we need in order to have the login that we require to, you know, actually figure out who the connection ID belongs to. So I'll click the configuration workbook. And then we will select our 
log analytics workspace here and click configure workspace and then deploy. Once that's done, we will scroll up and click configure host pool as well and click deploy. Once that's done, we will scroll further up, go to session host data settings, and then select our log analytics workspace as well. And then click add hosts to workspace, deploy. And once that is done, we'll also click on the configure performance counters here and apply config. And further on, we will do the same with the events. Click in configure events and then deploy. And once that is done, we should have all the login we need in order to actually make use of the QR codes that the watermarking feature gives us. So let's go back to insights, refresh this. And now everything looks good here. Now that we have all the login we need, we can jump back into our session host and see how the watermarking feature actually looks from a user perspective. So back to our remote desktop client, log on to our session host. Now, as soon as we log in, immediately you see all of these QR codes. These will always be there. So if I move stuff around, the QR codes will always be there in front of it. And for example, if I try to grab something from my screen using snipping tool, for example, I can go to something like uh, web QR to actually decode this QR code. So I'll just upload this here and you can see that this is the contents of that QR code. And now that we have the connection ID, we can actually match that up against the user. So if we go back to Azure Virtual Desktop Insights, head over to Connection Diagnostics, and scrolling down here, you can see a table with a bunch of connection IDs. So for example, this one here, you can scroll on to the right and you can see actually the user to which that connection belongs. So that's how you can use the watermarking feature to figure out to which connection and user a screen grab or leak came from. Keep in mind that, like I mentioned, the opacity for the QR codes is something you need to tinker a bit about. I actually had to crank it up to 5000 in order for WebQR to be able to decode the QR code, while the camera on my iPhone were able to decode QR codes with a opacity down to 1500, although with some issues depending on the background. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and all that. If you haven't seen my video on the screen capture protection, you can check that out there. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And uh, yeah, cheers.